Dearly beloved, loving New Year greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. How great a joy it is to see the first day of a new year. When we enter into a new year, we will have great expectations. What blessings does the Lord have for us in this year? How is He going to guide us? What good things does He have for us? What promise has He in store for us? There will be an expectation regarding this within everyone. God is giving you a promise for this new year. In Psalm chapter 121 and verse 7, The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. The Lord will protect you. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. And do you know why has the Lord given this promise? These are the last days. The Lord's return is near. The scripture says, In the last days Satan will work powerfully and create evil and suffering among people. It is written in the scriptures that he will cause dangers. So the enemy Satan will function powerfully to do various evil things against us. At this time, what we need is protection. So the Lord promises, regardless of the evil, the enemy Satan might rise against us and intended to do, the Lord God will protect you. The Lord will be with us every day and guide us as the God who protects us. Firstly, it is said that He will protect your soul. Protecting our souls is most important. Our souls must be protected from being stained by sin. We have a God who protects our soul. He is a God who protects us so that the stains of sin are not deposited within us and Satan doesn't stifle us with sin. Temptations may constrain around us, sins may pressurize us, even then he will protect us from being defiled by them. Not only that, he has promised the Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Now, all of us travel, children travel to school, we travel to work, those who go by van, cycle, bike, car or train are there. We travel in many ways. It is rare to see people who don't travel. Satan has kept many dangers in these travels. So we need protection in our going out and coming in. The Lord is promising I will protect in your going out and coming in. So wherever we travel, we should pray, confess this promise, surrender in his hands and then only travel in this year. The Lord will protect my going out and coming in forevermore. Whenever I travel, I will confess this promise verse, praise God and then begin my journey. Because he is our protection and our protector. Not only that, he will protect us from all evil. We don't know what kind of evil will come. We don't know what evil Satan has planned to bring within our family for your children in your business, work or ministry. But God knows the devil will create invisible dangers and evil and try to destroy and stifle us. But don't be afraid of anything. Just confess this particular promise Praise God and pray each and every day. The Lord is your protector. He will protect you from all evil. This is the promise. So let any struggle, problem, difficulty or evil come. Let the enemy come like a flood. The Lord will protect me. He has promised me. Believe in it. He defeated death and rose again to be with us and protect us. He has said that he is with you till the end of the age. Say with faith, you are with me this year as the God who protects me. No evil can affect me. Satan cannot trap me in sin. The devil cannot stifle and hinder me by bringing disease and suffering. The Lord is with me as my protector and guide. Just confess this promise with faith and you will see miracles throughout this year. Wonders will happen in your life. Your matters will surely prosper. He will lead you 
miraculously. Shall we pray with faith? Dear Father, we praise you for the promise that you have given us. We praise you for this new year. Praise you for giving us the promise that you will be with us and protect us. Praise you for your love that will protect us and keep us away from all evil and the tricks of Satan who does wicked things. You are protecting our souls. You are protecting us in our going out and coming in. You are protecting us from being affected by evil, danger, diseases and pestilences. We believe it. We are surrendering ourselves to your protection. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Father. Amen. Amen.